creeps along like a rolling centipede. If you blink while driving down the 15, you'll miss it. But if you slow down and focus, you'll see what Caltrans calls a barrier transfer machine. Normal people call it a zipper. It moves the concrete barrier dividing the express lanes one lane over. It moves slow. Really slow, like eight miles an hour slow. But this monster of a vehicle could make the commute up and down the 15 much, much faster for the 169,000 people who use it every day. It gives motorists more flexibility. All month long, two zippers will be moving the center divide over two lanes. On a normal day, two lanes go each way, but this month, three lanes will go with the rush hour commute. Del Cerro resident Alexandra Brown already saves about 20 minutes using the express lanes. You know, if there was three lanes, that might help the speed of the commute. But don't get used to it. Caltrans is only studying how well the zippers handle the two-hour trek up and down the 15 twice a day in between rush hours. We will be reconfiguring the lanes on a daily basis. Then it will stop at the end of April. It will be up to Sandag, which actually manages the express lanes, to decide whether they want three lanes or only two for the rush hour commute. In the meantime, Caltrans wants you to keep an eye out for the barrier transfer machines. You can see in this video from a GoPro outside my 10 News Prius, the zipper is like a giant slow moving vehicle in traffic. Whether they'll keep moving the barriers back and forth has yet to be decided. Along the 15, Joe Little, 10 News.